For nine years now, Vancouver high school students have been offered a lesson on the Holocaust. This year, as usual, 500 students enrolled for a two-day symposium. But unknown to them, six students from Eckville, Alberta, were there. They were students of Jim Keegstra, the high school teacher who taught that the Holocaust didn't happen. Their fare to Vancouver was paid by a group of Jews and Christians. Jerry Thompson reports. As the symposium opened, the six students from Alberta were just anonymous faces in a crowd of 500. They wanted to learn the Holocaust story, but they did not want to be singled out or ridiculed just because they were students of Jim Keegstra. It had been decided that all the Jews in Europe were to be gassed. For the first hour, they sat through an emotionally devastating British television documentary called Genocide. Some would die of exhaustion. Some were beaten to death, some too weak to work another day, were gassed in that turn. They found the stench of rotting corpses, cholera, typhus. Many who were rescued were too weak to survive. When the lights came up, they were confronted with the real thing, people who survived the Nazi death camps. Vera Slimovitz was force-marched to Auschwitz when she was 17 years old, the same age as most of the students in the audience. About the Keegster incident, she said it was bad enough that he taught that there was no Holocaust. It was worse that he did it for more than 10 years. Are we abandoning our obligation to our children that this could go on for a decade without being detected? Poisoning young minds, to me, that's, that's the greatest sin. It's a greater sin than killing. Some of the students from Eckville are quite upset about all the bad publicity their town has got because of this. And they say it's unfair because not everybody there thinks the way Mr. Keekster does. And for that reason, three of the six agreed to talk to CBC. Eckville has a reputation of being prejudiced against Jews, but it's not. It's just that Mr. Keekster had his opinion and he voiced it out. And I think Eckville got that same reputation for it. I'm glad I came. I wasn't going to, but I did. And I'm glad I did because I learned a lot. I didn't think the Jews were tortured that much, but um, I never was prejudiced against Jews, never. I had Mr. Keekster for a teacher this year, but um, I, I still believe the Holocaust happened. No, he didn't have that much of an effect on me, I guess. Mr. Keekster's teaching didn't have that much effect on you? I mean, you still believe that it happened regardless yeah. of what yeah. he said? Yeah. The Eckville students were selected from grade 12 because they'd had two years with Jim Keekstra, and organizers here wanted to reach them before they left the school system. Jerry Thompson, CBC News, Vancouver.